Hi guys, welcome to sixth grade chapter three, lesson nine. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. Y'all are gonna love this once you get used to it, okay? So you see your two coordinate points, okay? I wrote, I rewrote them, they're the first ones here, okay? The ones that are identical, cross them off, you don't need them, okay? The ones that are not identical, if they're both positive, how many there are between them. So seven to eight, nine, 10, 11, that's four, okay? Four units, easy, okay? Now, number three, six comma four and six comma negative eight. The ones that are the same, we're gonna cross off, okay? When you have a positive and a negative, you add them. So eight plus four, 12. Okay. Okay. Let me show you why. Okay. If that's zero, okay, then four is over here and negative eight is over here. Okay. Now, if I'm looking for seven and 11, well, that's like right here and right here. Okay. If I'm looking for negative eight and four, I have to go all the way back to zero and then to four. Hopefully that makes a little more sense for y'all. Okay. So now I'm going to, I'm gonna write down number four. Okay, number four says eight comma negative 10 and five comma negative 10. Okay, now the ones that are identical cross off. Oops, sorry guys. Okay, now I just have to get from five to eight. Well, that's five to six, sorry, six, seven, eight, that's three. Done, okay? All right, so now here you have a positive and a negative. You're gonna add them, negative six and five. So six and five, 11, okay? The negative fives on number six are the same. You have positive two and negative four, so you have a positive and a negative. Add them, two and four, six, done, okay? So. This one is going to be a little bit more tricky, but only until you get the hang of it, guys, okay? So, we are going to go five units, okay? So, we're still going to have negative two. That doesn't change, okay? I'm going to cross it off because I don't need to know that one, okay? But I need to know five units from, number, from negative one, okay? So, that could either be negative six or it could be four. Okay, if I do negative one minus five, then I get negative six. If I do negative one plus five, I get four. So you can have either of those answers, either negative six or four. You do not have to write both of them, okay? This one, eight units from the four. The two is exactly the same, okay? It's giving you one of those coordinates. So I don't need to know about those, okay? eight units from four. So I can either have negative four or I can have 12, okay? Okay, four, if I subtracted eight, I would get negative four, or if I added eight, I would get 12, okay? You guys do nine through 12, you totally can, I believe in you, okay? We are gonna go down to number 13 and it says, how far is the Ferris wheel from the roller coaster? So the Ferris wheel is on Five, I don't even know how many there is. Uh, so five, one, two, three, four, five, six. So five, six. And the roller coaster is five, two. Okay, those are the same. So six minus two, or the difference between them, is four. Four units. Oh, sorry, four kilometers. These are marked in kilometers. Each one, each unit represents one kilometer. So four kilometers, okay? All right, now how is that far is the water slide right here from the restroom, okay? So water slide going over negative three, comma, negative four, and the restrooms are four, 
negative 4. Okay, so now those ones are identical. Okay, 3 and 4 have a negative and a positive, so I'm going to add them. 7 kilometers. Okay. Okay, hopefully that makes it a little bit easier for you guys. Okay, so you guys are going to do the lesson check, one and two. You're on your own. You can do this, okay? We are going to do the spiral review. So if an apple is cut into 10 pieces, an eighth of the apple is eaten, what fraction in simplest form represents the amount of apple that's left? Well, so apple's cut into 10 pieces. Well, that eighth is in the 10th spot, which means it's over 10, okay? So. That's how much is eaten, okay? Which means that 10 over 10 minus 8 over 10 is going to be 2 over 10, right? That's probably a little better, okay? Now, in simplest form, okay, if I divide both of those by 2, because they're both even numbers, I get 1 fifth. 1 fifth, guys, that's it. Okay. Okay. A carton contains soup cans weighing a total of 20 pounds. Each can weighs one and a quarter pounds. How many cans does a carton contain? So I'm going to do 20 and I'm going to divide that by four. Oh, I'm not going to do it like this though. I'll show you in just a second. So I'm going to do a dead man. Four times one is four plus one is five. So I'm going to have 20 divided by five and I'm going to keep my denominator. Okay. 20 is not a fraction. I'm going to put it over one. Okay. So now I'm going to keep, change, and flip. And now I'm going to reduce. Five goes into five once and five goes into 20 four times. So four times four is 16. So 16 Can. Sorry. There we go. Okay. We're going to list these numbers in order from greatest to least. So the biggest one first. Okay. There's only two numbers here. Oh, no. Sorry. Three numbers here. Okay. One of them is positive. Just one of them. That means that that one is going to be first. That's going to be the greatest number. Even though it's not even a whole one, it's the greatest number because it's not negative. Okay. Now we have negative one and negative two, one and two thirds. Well, negative one, okay, is going to come first because this is negative one and then some. Done. Okay. The point located at three negative one is reflected across the y axis. That means those ones are going to be the same. What are the coordinates of the reflecting point? Negative three, negative one. Okay, don't forget, these ones will stay the same. The y-axis stays the same. The other one is the one that changes, okay? All right, good job, guys. Thanks for hanging out for 3.9. Come on back for 3.10.